Hello, and welcome back to Wasteland 3. Let's continue. I'm Alan Enraged. I said that in the wrong order. I'm Alan Enraged. Let's continue. It feels so much better that way. This camp is only a few days old. Looks like the Dorseys gathered here before their attack on the city. Ooh, a large container. Better have a lot of stuff. It does. Ooh, I got another sniper rifle. Do I need two snipers? I don't think so. But I can sell it for quite a bit of money. We got a Molotov. Some sniper ammo. A pocket dock. An armor mod for chest armor. Mounted to a piece of chest armor, this small box supplements medical treatment with sophisticated vitals data. Well, I definitely want that on cringe. 10% extra healing. I need to figure out the modding. Yeah. 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 I don't know how to work anything. Bunch of junk. The meds. Let's go. Yes. I have completed this quest. If I were to have a gripe about the game so far, it would 100% be these loading screens. The first time for an area I would kind of understand, but Colorado Springs should be cached and should load a little faster. Didn't even know we had the ability to crouch. Never shot anybody before today, and now I've gone and shot my boyfriend. I mean, my ex-boyfriend. Ex in more ways than one, I suppose. Oh, God! Told ya. As soon as she killed somebody. Have to deal with the after effects. And I couldn't even finish him off. I needed your help to do it. Now he's... dead, and I'm to blame. <laughs> True, if you hadn't come, you might still be alive. Do I want to go the asshole route? Like, I mean, that is the truth. But it was Isaac's fault. Still, I pulled the trigger. The choice was mine. I could have... I could have let him live. Now... Now he's dead. And the only memories I have are of him begging for his life. Welcome to being a ranger. I need to find the people who steered Isaac wrong. The people who were really responsible. Neelius, Dorsey, and Liberty Buchanan. Will you help me find them? You can count on my guns every step of the way. Uh. Yes, we'll help you. In return, you follow orders like a ranger. Of course. Good. You've got yourselves a bargain, rangers. We should go after Neelius Dorsey first. Isaac said he headed west into the mountains. No doubt he plans to hole up at one of the old resorts from before the bombs fell. I don't think we're ready to face him yet, though. Neelius will be dug in, I expect, and he'll have all his best people with him. He only left behind the expendables in the garden. I thought she said she was going to follow orders, not give them. <laughs> I like this guy. For now, we should head back to the sheriff. I know. I'm. For now, we're gonna find this dock guy. I thought they said dock was this way, but maybe he's this way a little bit. Yeah, that looks like a garage to me. I'm gonna go this way. Talk to Mama. She's the one in charge. 
Well, considering all of you are boys, I don't... Okay, there she is. <gasps> Grizzled and gnarled as an old oak tree, the round little woman scowls at you from under her scarf, eyes invisible in a face that is more wrinkles than skin. You got business with Mama Cotter? Uh, yeah. Ha! No, you don't. Come back when you do. Until then, scram. Don't know how, um... Don't know how she knew. Maybe it was the, uh... The waver in my voice as I answered her question. No time. You. You're who I want. A linebacker in a lab coat. This doctor is clearly wary, but works feverishly to bandage the bloody head of an unconscious young woman. Hey, Doc. Quan, hope you won't take offense, but I've got no time for niceties. Dying people take precedence. Understood, brother. Can you stitch us up? Come on, Rangers. Didn't you hear him? He's busy. There are people literally dying around you, and you want me to ignore them to put a few band-aids on you? Fine. I'll take a look for cash. You got it. Great. Come over here and let's see your great and terrible wounds. There. All patched up. Thanks, Doc. Can we do anything to help? He gestures towards the injured patients lying nearby. They're in bad shape. And I don't have the time or tools to save them. I'm pretty sure I just saw some blood squirt out of that guy. So we're, yep, yep, we're going to bring, he's, he's a goner. Sorry. We can work on this lady, but he's just gone. He's just a fountain over there. Barter four. You can count on us. What can we do? Find and return the supplies to Doc Parker at the clinic. What supplies? His shoulders sag with relief. Thank you. The things I need most are a suture kit, an injury kit, and a medic pack. Got that? I'm pretty These sure folks I have those. are literally dying on us, so don't fuck around. I got those, though. We already got those. Great. Then get started on those patients. Got it. He nods, allowing himself a quiet sigh of relief, then returns his attention to the injured patient woman. Young woman is unconscious. Her head is wrapped in bloody gauze. Badly bleeding man. This man is sitting, clenched teeth in a puddle of his own blood. A hand pressed to his belly, intestines bulge from between the slats of his fingers. He won't last longer, much longer without help. If you use one of your suture kits on him, you may be able to save his life. It isn't. B bad is it? Just flesh wound. Well, can, we, right? can we use it on him? Like you hello. should see. Yada yada. It isn't B bad is it? Just how do I freaking use wound. it on him? Am I right? You should see the other guy. Suit your kit. Yeah. Let's round him up and bring him back to Doc Parker. Did we do the thing? Is he fine now? What? You there you go, my buddy. <laughs> I won't miss staring at my own guts. Yep, yep. What now? We have the supplies you asked for. Finally. Get started on those patients. What? What do I do with this one? Do I use a revivey kit on her? Because she's unconscious? I only have one of these. Pretty sure I just wasted that. I'm super sure I just wasted that. Let's 
stop doing that? Oh my goodness. What do you want me to do to this person? Ah, we're just gonna keep wasting materials. Invalid target. I, I don't I don't know what you want. Medic pack. What did we do wrong? Okay, are we good? What now? What do you mean what now? Any chance you'd be interested in working for us? We could use a good a good doctor at our headquarters. There are people dying left. right here, right now, and you're trying to get me to leave? I healed what that the one. hell are you thinking? Well, Good luck. I don't know what you want me to do. Is there another dead person? No, that's a shopkeeper. Wow. What is it? Mission lock. Find a return. I did that, man. Suture kit, injury kit, and a medic pack. Thanks. Would have bled to death without you. Which one did I use on her? What do you want me to do, man? There's somebody else dying I don't know about. Why do these totally look like bad guy trucks? Suture kit, medic kit. I already forgot. I mean, I already did that. I used the suture kit. I used the medic pack. Let's use the injury kit. I don't know what you want, buddy. Is this quest bugged? What now? Long as you don't mind if I keep working while we talk. Who are you? Name's Parker. Plenty of doctors in Colorado Springs. I'm one of them. Well, that doc's underselling himself as always. Ask anyone. They'll tell you. Parker's the best in town. Used to be the Patriarch's personal doctor. That would be a heck of a recommendation. If you were looking for a babysitter. Just wish I had enough medicine to keep this clinic going. Running out of everything. How do you and Quan know each other? We used to beat each other up when we were boys. You get to know somebody pretty well when you fight them a few hundred times. That was always Arapaho kids versus townie kids. Parker was the only Arapaho who put up a good fight. Till I grew up and hit the books. Figured I couldn't make a career of beating people senseless. Quan found a way to do it, though. What the hell happened here? Dorsey attack. Maybe you heard about it. What did you need from us again? A suture kit, a medical pack, and an injury kit. Oh, there's another then person over here. use them to here. fix up the other patients. Alright, see you later. Luck. There was a wall in the way of this guy. The woman is almost unconscious. Her body is a nightmare of bruises and welts, but at least she's breathing. The damage is severe but treatable with basic tools. You could use one of your medic packs to save her life. Stop! I wouldn't! Shut up, I just want you to heal. Please. Where? What's going on? Did you it still hurts, but way less than it did. Thank you. What now? We're done, right? What do you mean? There are people dying right what? here, right now. And what do luck. you mean there's people dying here and right now? I just... Still hurts, oh, there's another one? Less than it did. Gosh, dang it. Thank you. I'm tired of this crap. 
This man doesn't appear to be in much pain, but he's intensely focused on his leg. White bone shears through the skin. He's clearly broken it in several places. This may end poorly for him. You could use one of your injury kits to save Jumped his life. Jumped out of the building to escape the Dorseys. Uh, Didn't count on the round stopping. Wasted so many materials, not knowing what to do. My a lucky grit on his leg. You said it! Ugh, still hurts like a bitch, but maybe I'll actually walk again. Why did I do it, by the way? You're the damn doctor. What now? Done everything we can for them. They should all pull through. Good. Thank you. One sec, though. Why'd I get a stethoscope? I know I've asked a lot of you, and I'm grateful for what you've already done. But I need one more favor. Of course. You see this girl? She was shot in the head, but there's no exit wound. The bullet's still in there. I need to keep constant watch on her, and I need cleaner, safer facilities to do it. If you let me use the facilities at your HQ, I'll... I'll do anything. I'll work as your doctor. I'll fucking juggle for you, Rangers. I just need to save her. What do you say? That's all I fucking wanted, dude. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Thank you. You've saved her life. And mine. Need anything before I get my stuff together? Nope. See you at the base, then. Sheeny leveled up. Oh, boy, look at all these automatic weapons perks. We have puncturing shot. Man. Feels extra damage versus stunned targets. How do I stun a target? Gopher hunter. Little gophers like to stay in their holes, but that just makes it easier for you to take them down. Enemies have less benefit from cover when attacking them. Spray and pray. Tears up an enemy with twice as many SMG bullets as your normal attack. Oh. Use an SMG. Nerd stuff. Override side effect. All bleeps are permanently replaced with bloops. Robots you hack will now be attacked by other enemies. What? Okie dokie. I mean, that's cool and all. It's kind of the animal whisperer of being a nerd. Alright. I think we give you another point in a hard ass. And then your two points in weird science. Yeah. Yeah. And I kind of wish I didn't have these points in automatic weapons now. Five percent chance of blowing up in your face. That is some weird science, man. All right, we did the thing. Let's hope you got another career plan. I give it another three months before Pesa leaves you in the dust. And so what if she does? It just means I gotta work harder. Ain't no shame in that. I'm gonna remind you that you said that. The station is nice enough, but convoy life is better. Nothing better than human ingenuity. Damn fools put my tools. So he runs out and starts trying to hose down the damn propane tank. What? No. Alright, we can go back to the sheriff now. Get properly rewarded for our completely diplomatic solution. One second.
Even in his old age, this man is impressive. Broad-shouldered and thick-necked, he wears his hair in thick white braids. Haven't seen you folks before. If you're looking for help with your vehicle, you've come to the right place. Looks like you also repair people. Eh? Oh, that's Doc Parker. He needed a place to set up his clinic, and we had the space, so... Good thing, too. Those Dorseys hurt a lot of people with that little raid of theirs. We brought as many as we could in here, and Doc's been patching them up as fast as he can. Only got two hands, though. Is Parker a good doctor? The best in Colorado Springs, no lie. He was the Patriarch's personal physician for a while. Took care of all the hoity-toits in Broadmoor Heights, too. Kind of pissed us off at the time, actually. Nice Arapaho boy taking care of the hemorrhoids of the hundred families and turning his back on his own people. Came home in the end, though. Remembered who he was and set up his clinic here. Been serving the working people of Colorado Springs ever since. I have a feeling he's not going to like the fact that he's going to come work for me now. What is this place? This is the Colorado Springs Arapaho Station. We got stations all over Colorado, mostly for fixing and supplying our own fleet. But we fix vehicles and sell parts to anybody. I'm the manager, Jimmy Longhall. That's my crew over there. You need any repairs or alterations to your ride, they're the ones who will put it all together. Best crew in the business. Can you tell us about your employees? Co-workers, not employees. I only give the orders because I take the orders, get me? I guess. Anyway, Fastback's the old one. Been with the station almost as long as I have. Ranch, the tall fella, thinks he's a heartbreaker, but he's the most sentimental sap you'll ever meet. And Pacer's our newest recruit. Don't mess with her. She's ten pounds of attitude in a five-pound bag. So are you all Arapaho here? At the moment? Yeah, I guess so. Driving and wrenching has kind of become the Arapaho brand. We pride ourselves on being the best mechanics and couriers in the West. What can you tell us about the Arapaho? Well, except for those of us who run the stations, we mostly live on the road. The people of the convoy, some folks call us. And we've turned that way of life into a business. Arapaho service stations, Iron Thunder Logistics, Arapaho Caravan Protection, and so on. While other folks were eating each other in the suburbs or fighting over mansions in Broadmoor Heights, we kept to the wildlands and didn't come back until civilization had reestablished itself. And when we came back, we came with services people needed. Transportation, protection, and repair. Been living well ever since. Do you hire outsiders? Sure we do, if they're good enough. Takes a lot of skills to be better than an Arapaho, though. What do you sell? Anything for your vehicle. Have a look. What about you? You got any stories for us? I've got them by the dozen. But you two idiots just keep talking and talking. So I figured that maybe they're not interested hmm. in how my parents made themselves a sled team of robots. Oh, come I'm kind on. of interested Don't in that. Like Let's that. sell some junk. Talk to you. Give me your coffee ration for next week, and I'll consider it. Repair kit. <laughs> You're all right, kid. A rhino cannon. A trucker horn. I'll just buy the toolkit. Wanna set your tire bead real quick and look impressive doing it? I've got a trick. Mm -hmm. Set the tire on fire. Except don't use gasoline. Yeah, well, she's smart enough to know that. Anyway, just a quick shot of flammable agent. A method for putting out. Ah, hello there. The name's Theodora Curie. Theo for friends. I need to work on these gate hydraulics, but I always have time to answer some questions. If you're here to learn about our wall. 
Who are you? I am the humble son of scientists. My mother and father were on a mission to pursue the possibility of cold fusion. Imagine, nuclear reactions at room temperatures making it safe for everyone. Sadly, they are gone, and my efforts to follow their work has been stymied by immediate dangers. Perhaps one day, I'll have the time to devote to such a monumental achievement again. Tell us about the Colorado Springs Wall. It's simply your standard concrete barrier with Tesla-styled electrical deterrence. Not an absolute marvel of what could be done, but sufficient for the task of keeping out enemies. If we had oil to power the generators, you'd see the glorious effect of thousands of volts of electricity arcing across it, deterring would-be attackers from approaching. Such a pity. Sorry, we have to go. Believe me, I understand. Thank you for stopping by, and good luck out there. Back to the wall. Make sure you take care of that bike when you get to it. That bus trap? Why? Because this was Jimmy Long Hall's last car. When he gave up the ghost to the plane, take a quick look really around the corner. Again, huh? It's great to see you. Just wish they'd rebuild my house. Hey, you're not a normal cat. You're Bar Bartholomew. Why are you just called a cat now? You're Bartholomew. I don't think I have any reason to go in there. I guess I'll check it out, see what's up. It's gonna be a loading screen, though. We're gonna wait until after we turn in our crap. This is Corporal Gonzalez at Ranger Command. Who am I speaking with? This is Rosie Wong at the Sands Lux Apartments. The tap water's brown again. Uh, that's not really our department, Ms. Wong. Can I, uh... Then you go arrest whose department it is! I'm trying to run a business here! My tenants have a right to clean water! What a Karen. Yeah? This is the Sands Lux Apartments? Who's there? Never mind. Fucking kids. Hey! Take a look at what these marshals and Dorsey's got on them! He glances up from looting the corpses. Yeah, those marshals were colleagues of mine. I'm gonna guess you didn't kill them. But you need to put all those valuables back. And walk away. Fat chance. We got guns and ammo now. We don't take orders from Marcius no more. No! Moving to cover. Don't shoot my cat. Waiting orders. Oh boy, he made a blimey mistake. Well, I'll just call him a tutor. Target. 
some bandages. He's killed my kitty cat. I'm gonna cry. Oh man, I'm so sad. I can't believe he just blew up my kitty cat. Not cool, man. Not cool. Still looking for the damn toolkit I bought. This, right? Yeah. Frickin' finally, I have Animal Whisperer 4. Hmm. Is this a passive? Definitely need my darn animals to be more healthy. I got Pupper Upper. I think Alan's a little cold. Skeet Hunter pump shotgun. Attributes. My first level up for a non ranger. Alright, so you got plenty of points for automatic weapons, kiss ass, and sneaky shit. I also want to give you toaster repair three.
so not happy about my cat dying. It was Bartholomew, my favorite cat. Hmm. You know, I think that... I think I like that more. Maybe I give her a pistol. They're offhand. There's no reason not to have the wider range weapon. Kitty! Well, I get in trouble for this. Came here for every class trip we ever had. Is Buchanan a man? Artificial limbs and augmentations taken from the bodies of defeated Scar Collectors after the legendary Battle of Punkin Center, where the Patriarch defeated the savage warlords of the Eastern Plains once and for all. A replica of the rifle Sheriff Daisy used when she fought at the Patriarch's side during the war against the Plains Gangs for her bravery, heroism, and tactical brilliance, he appointed her Sheriff of Colorado Springs. Yeah, this whole place is a gloss. But who wants to hear all the ugly details? We can come back when we get a higher mechanics level. It's mechanics level 2 right now. We need 106 XP to level up. Time to clean up. No? No one here? I wasn't trying to cuss. Oh, hello! Look, Martha, it's our friends who helped us save the shop. What can I do for you? We've got some discounts with your name on them. You and your wife get along well? Great, uh... Great question to ever ask anybody. Hardly a crossword between us. She says nothing but rolls her eyes behind them. What can you tell me about your shop? Been making clothes and adornments for the hundred families for 30 years. Most of them won't buy from anybody else. Of course, we sell to regular folks too. Plenty of less expensive items in stock. Repurposed or restored garments mostly. What do you got for sale? The old man smiles happily and starts showing you his wares. Um. Some extra armor pads. A helmet mod. Extra armor and quick slot. Comes in an aerosol can. Lay a thick layer on your armor to gain basic insulation against elemental exposure. That's kind of cool. Same thing as that. 
Same thing as that. Armor, armor, armor. Nothing crazy here. Kinda like the scrapper outfit. Alright, cool. We're almost back to Sheriff Daisy. You, Troy! Those old people are looking at us? It's okay, Brandy. I got this. Get lost, you perv douchebags. Before I... Wait a minute. You're old, right? Can you get us some beers? A stupid Mary Milk Teeth won't sell us any. Too young, she says. Here, kids, enjoy. Uh, ew. Light? Yes, it's got alcohol, so whatever. Thanks. Oh, yay! Light is my absolute fave. Well, they're not making out anymore. Hello? Hello? There's something wrong with my kid's poop! Hello, Ms. Wong. Good to hear your voice. Hey, they cleaned up the fountain. I was rather liking those decorative bodies. Who are you? Oh yeah. You rangers are heroes. Rangers, wow. I'm gonna tell you. Can't thank you enough for saving me. What aren't you not? You're supposed to be scrubbing my toilet, sir. Thank Don't worry, you. mom. Your boy's gonna be a ranger. Your boy's gonna be scrubbing my toilet. Don't care about you. I think we should pull some marshals from Broadmoor. Put them here in downtown. Yeah, if an enemy gets all go. the way to Broadmoor, we've got big problems. <laughs> but then, who'd make the precious hundred families feel all warm and snug? Yeah, they'd never let that happen. Yeah, how's everybody else? All right, all of you. Talk to the sheriff. Let's spin our I like your style, rubber Rangers. flies. I asked for a favor, and you came through for me. No more Dorseys in my city, and everybody can walk out their doors again without getting shot. Some of my marshals weren't too sure about you, but I see now that they were dead wrong. Old Saul always knows best. We're all on the same side, right? Damn right. It's in all our interests to keep this city safe. Is your gun on fire? Ma'am, I think your gun is on fire. Now, before I forget, let me introduce you to Hope Emerson. She heard all about you coming to town, and she wants to join up. Ain't that right, Hope? Pleasure's mine, Rangers. Ran the lockup in a little town called Amity on Colorado's eastern border. Figured I could do the same thing for you at your HQ. Assuming you'll be arresting people now and then? Yeah. Amity got flattened by the Scar Collectors a while back, so Hope came west. Been trying to get her to join the Marshals ever since, but she keeps turning me down flat. We uh, have some differences when it comes to crime and punishment. But that aside, she's smart, honorable, and she'd be an asset to your organization. Thanks for the referral, and we do need someone for that position. Welcome aboard, Hope. Great. I'll head over to Ranger headquarters in a bit and start fixing up your brig. I can't think of a better way to serve than to ensure that our justice is fair, even to those who transgressed against it. So, back to business. Did you find out how the Dorseys got into town? Isaac Reed confessed that he helped them, but it was Farron Brigo's gang who let them in. Well, since you already dealt with Isaac, let's concentrate on Brigo. <sighs> I'll never understand why the Patriarch let that rat set up shop here. Been nothing but trouble, so him making a deal with the Dorseys doesn't surprise me in the least. In fact, I had a hunch he might be involved, so I sent my best man over to his nightclub, the Little Vegas, to search for a connection. Haven't heard back from him, though, and I'm a little worried. Say, what if I asked you rangers to go to Little Vegas and check up on him? 
And if you happen to find proof that Brigo helped the Dorseys while you're there, well, feel free to cuff the bastard and haul him in. We're on it. Take down Brago for me, and I'll make sure your HQ gets the best equipped armory this side of the Rockies. Guns, ammo, armor, the whole shebang. I was in before you mentioned that, now I'm double in. The marshal I sent to the Little Vegas is named Delgado. Family man and the best inspector I've got. Keep him safe, and I'll owe you another favor. Always a pleasure, Rangers. I gotta keep somebody safe. Mostly, I wanna look at your gun. It's on friggin' fire. That is cool as crap. It's got an American flag, too, which is... It's alright. That's cool, I guess. <laughs> but mostly the fire thing. Alright, that'll be the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment down below, and I will see you next time.